much. So I opened up my home to a registered dietitian, and she gave my kitchen a once over <laughs> with three kids. This isn't easy to see how I'm doing. Am I getting it right with my family? I don't know if I'm brave or if I'm stupid, but I am inviting a nutritionist into my kitchen to see how I feed my kids and how I could be doing better. I have three little girls, and uh, Trisha Hardy here with Hi, Children's Hi, Healthcare. Hello, how are Good you? Good to see you. All right, I'm going to let you in right, my pantry. All right, let's let's do it. First how of all, doing? I just have to say there are no good or bad foods. So. Um, just want to set that up. Everything fits into a healthy lifestyle. We just want to encourage certain foods that are more nutritious. And I can see here that you've done a really great job. All of this up here are some whole grains, which is very important to they know. They were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> which is why we have so many. That you've got a lot of beans, which are also very high in fiber and okay. great. Um, and I even see that you've got whole grain cereals, pastas. All of this is fantastic. We look at this label, you can see that the first ingredient is sugar. My now, husband bought that. <laughs> it does have whole grain <laughs> flour, but a simple, simple tip you can do, and even for some of these candies and things like this, mm -hmm. is just hide it. You don't have to get it out of your out of your pantry, pantry, but you can just pull forward the things that you want to encourage more. What do we need to spend the money on organically and what n do we not need to? That is a great question and one I get quite a bit. And um, as a rule of thumb, think about how you're consuming the food. So if you are going to eat, say for instance, an apple and you're eating the skin, then those are items that you probably do want to buy organic. When we start talking about some of our pantry items, like organic sugar, for instance. Yeah, um, is that worth it? Is it worth it to get this sugar as opposed to regular sugar cane sugar? Sugar is sugar is sugar. And what about something like this, the organic toaster? Again, um, this is one of the favorite no? things <laughs> that, you know, just because it says organic doesn't mean that it's healthier. And I think a lot of consumers get really confused with that. Yeah. They think that if it's organic, it must be healthy. All right, so onto the fridge. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of the things I'm wondering is organic milk, worth it? I think that, um, again, what's more important with milk and dairy and even your meats is to make sure that it's hormone free okay. and no antibiotics. And you can have that without it necessarily being organic. But I would say that those are the most important things. And similarly to what we talked about in the cupboard, I think there are just simple things of how we could maybe bring some of the foods that we really want to encourage, like fresh berries, um, even the pineapple, really having it in the forefront so that when the kids open up the refrigerator, it's the first thing they see mm -hmm. and they'll gravitate towards that. And one of the things about juice that we know, I mean, juice is a great, it's 100 percent fruit juice, which is made from whole juice, but it still has a lot of sugar and a lot of folks don't realize that. For instance, these juice boxes that you'll see a lot of kids drink, mm -hmm. this has um, the equivalent of 36 jelly beans for every juice box. So for sugar. For, of sugar. A great thing to do is add water to juice so that the kids still feel that they're getting a full glass. And you just want to be mindful and maybe limit your juice intake for the entire day.